Hey, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. We're developing the online action RPG Path of Exile, which is currently in closed beta. In this video series, we're going to showcase interesting character builds that our players have come up with. Today's build is this uh, Templar called Seymour, from a player called Big Z, and we've copied the character across to our local testing server so that we're able to show it um, without disturbing his account online. Now his character here is level 48 and he's in merciless difficulty, so I'm going to demonstrate it playing in the terraces, which is the first area after the Act 1 town in that difficulty. So basically this Templar is interesting because it uses totems combined with a certain skill, um, Ice Spear in this case. So here we have a totem support gem, and basically this allows you to cast a totem which will use any skills that are attached to it, in this case Ice Spear. So for example, if I run up here to some monsters and cast the totem, you'll see that it fires Ice Spears at the monsters to kill them. He also has two other support gems attached to the skill. Um, added cold damage to increase the damage that it deals, and increased duration so that the totem lasts longer. Now as you can see, that totem was able to kill a couple of the monsters, but they're still there. Now this character of course can cast a couple more totems. The problem here of course is the totems will die relatively quickly if the monsters get a chance to fight them. To combat this, he uses Freezing Pulse, which allows him to protect the totems if monsters get close to them. So the build is very capable of killing single targets by casting Freezing Pulse in their face, or encountering larger groups and leading them to the totems that he's cast. Here's a boss pack, let's see how he can handle it. As you can see, the Ice Spear Totem does a lot of damage providing that it's not destroyed by the monsters. Because of this, it's often best to cast them to one side and then protect them. Now, you'll notice that his um, Freezing Pulse Gem that he has equipped here is supported by multiple projectiles and also by added chaos damage. Now multiple projectiles means that when he uses Freezing Pulse he's actually casting multiple copies of the skill in different directions. The player can control the spread of these by aiming at different points. For example, if I aim far away, it casts three that are basically on top of each other. And if I aim close up, you get three in different directions. This means I can stack them all on one target, like that. Or I can find a larger group and hit in all directions. The other support skill that he uses in this build is that of the Elemental Weakness Gem, which curses monsters so they take additional elemental damage. Although it's a little bit of extra work having to go and cast the curse on the monsters, it definitely helps you cut through rares much more quickly. One of the opportunities I noticed in terms of this character is that I can actually demonstrate an interesting uh, totem idea that we had in development, which is getting the skill called Lightning Warp, which as you can see is a short distance teleport that does some damage to the monsters, and combining it with the totem gem to make totems that do that. I suspect that the overall kill rate of that combo isn't as good as the one that he's actually using, but it's interesting that it can be demonstrated here. So if I take Ice Spear out, and I put Lightning Walk in, the combination that includes Totem, now whenever I cast the Totem, it's going to make ones that can teleport. 
which technically means that they're going to follow the monsters around the map, teleporting to them. There are other combinations as well. For example, if I can find the Elemental Weakness gem here and replace that with Lightning Warp, now we have a totem which is going to cast Elemental Weakness on monsters that go nearby. So this totem is now automatically cursing these monsters. Without the player having to do it. The original build, having Ice Spear Totems, is probably more powerful though. The Totems can do a good job freezing the monsters to protect you. This build seems pretty viable, although we're just an early Merciless at the moment, I don't see why it couldn't continue to play through Merciless. I'm not sure whether or not it would be able to survive in the Maelstrom of Carius and other upcoming endgame areas, but I suspect that with some tweaks it should be able to. It's pretty defensive, which I like, and it's got a decent amount of attack power as well. If you're a Path of Exile player and you'd like to submit your build for consideration for this series, please do so in the forums. If you haven't played before and you'd like to try out Path of Exile before it enters open beta, then please buy a supporter pack at pathofexile.com. Thanks very much.